are witnessing the beginning of the end of movie theaters if they don't start addressing this quickly because this shit's getting already if you haven't watched the video go watch the video this basically talks about or this talk talker that you know basically mentions that the reason why movies nowadays when going are that are heading to theaters aren't reaching their the the point where they need to to get their money back like if the movie made was uh, to create it was 90 million and they're only getting 30 million when it gets released you know it's because you know the movies suck or et cetera et cetera and the thing is as a person who goes to the theater still i love going to theaters i don't care how much the ticket is and stuff like that the reason people aren't going to the theaters anymore is because one yes regal like for example regal getting their tickets going to the, the regal to get the popcorn and everything else is expensive or in general going to the theaters is now expensive so if people are going to theaters they're going to the theater to watch a movie that's worth watching for example no way home that was a movie where i went to the theaters i didn't care how much the tickets cost i didn't care how much how i would spend on snacks popcorn or whatever because it was a movie worth watching you know godzilla x kong that was a movie where I will always support Godzilla because I'm a Godzilla fan. You know, whether it's even if Godzilla is just there for a cameo, I will still support it because it's the MonsterVerse and I love it. So, and it was kind of, it was like, yeah, it was worth watching it. But for Godzilla for 2014, Godzilla versus Kong, Godzilla King of the Monsters, et cetera, et cetera, those were worth watching. You know, whether how much the tickets were. The thing is, they're making movies where, and, and plus they also the effect of why people are not going to theaters is because they're going to put the movie eventually like this in the streaming services. So most people are going to be like, eh, I'll wait, don't worry, whatever. That's what they're doing. They're not releasing it and letting it be in the theaters for a while and then boom, then it comes in a streaming service. Or in DVD and stuff like that. Because when I was growing up, when a movie would come out, it would be a long time before it would go on DVD. And please correct me if I'm wrong. But, like I said, for example, one messed up reason was Godzilla vs. Kong. When that movie came out, it came out in streaming services and theaters. Even though I saw it in streaming service, I still wanted to show my support in the theaters because I watched part of the movie and I enjoyed it. I was like, no, 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 I'm going to watch this in the theater because it seems worth it. So again, people are going to the theaters for a movie that I would say is worth watching. For example, they are re-releasing old movies because people want to see those movies in theaters. Because those movies are good and worth watching in theaters. For example, they re-released the Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire movies and the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Tom, uh, Andrew Garfield movies. Those were worth watching. Star Wars, they were re-releasing the Star Wars movies. For example, in Disney Springs, for the anniversary, I think they were doing it all over the place, but for Disney Springs, and people were spending money to watch them because they were worth watching, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that is why studios are doing that. They're re-releasing movies because that's the only way people are going to the theaters or watching movies. But besides that, that is my reason and my thoughts. And I'm talking based on as a consumer and as a customer who still loves going to theaters, who is a regal fan where... I will still support Regal. Yeah, if, like I said, if Regal also decided to lower their prices, not on the tickets, but on the snacks, that would also help. But, again, people are watching movies that are only worth watching. If a movie that doesn't seem that interesting, they'll just wait until the streaming service because it won't take that long. But like I said, that's more of my thoughts. That's my opinions. I don't want to keep on rambling and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me and just let me know your actual thoughts. You know, so yeah.